Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Snake Bites Place here, and I am uh, coming at you with another Rocket League video. But this time, this is on how to get free keys and items in Rocket League. Yes, that's right. Free, free keys and items in Rocket League. So, first of all, what you're gonna need for this tutorial is hopefully you have some type of a uh, macro like some type of system that can set macros but what the system that I'm using right now is Razer Synapse you can get this really easily as long as you have a Razer keyboard or Razer mouse whatever as long as it's compatible with uh, Razer Synapse this tutorial will work for you and if not I'm pretty sure there are other uh, macro set like things that you can set macros with on different things but you can download Razer Synapse uh, on their sh website right here uh, where is it Razer Synapse right here you can download this I'm not gonna be showing a tutorial on how to download this but pretty much you just click on that download it and yeah so let's get into this tutorial alright so there is an alternative to how you can do this if you don't have a macro that you can set pretty much all you need to do is find some type of heavy object in your house and set it on your W key and this will pretty much just let you go forward I don't wanna screw it just yet but you can just go forward and you'll like go up the walls I'm just gonna speed this up by using boost it'll just like pretty much flip around whatever but there are you can't really if you get a bad spawn you might not be able to score and you might be able to score so there's an us there's uh a pretty cool feature that not feature like a uh, thing that I figured out with uh, doing this that is that you can go into a match like a triples match or double uh, not a doubles like 4v4 chaos unranked or whatever and etc and they'll score for you so there's no really if you want to do duels or whatever duel on rank that's perfectly fine just know it, you might get into like severe overwatch or eh not overwatch uh overtime yeah overtime like one time I have had a 75 I looked at my screen and it's been at 75 minutes and I usually use this uh, method uh, this, like, method that I'm gonna be showing you here in a second, the Razor Synapse one that requires a macro, uh, usually during the school, like, during school time, and during night time, or school hours, and it typically, if you don't have a pretty decent computer, uh, it, your game will crash like it's, it's pretty hard to not make it crash or whatever because you're having a game run for so long uh, it's just mine typically last during school days uh, it lasts all but like one hour of the day until I get home so it's pretty good during the, the day while you're at school uh, but at night I have no clue how long it really lasts but my computer like the specs on it it's a I it has an i7 processor and uh, Nvidia 860M it's a Alienware 13 I believe uh, 
laptop, so that's why it, it has an A60 in it, if you're wondering. Uh, but it it doesn't crash all too much. Like it lasts for quite a while, which allows me to get several drops during the day. So I'm gonna show you how to foolproof this plan. I never actually showed you the second method. Oh, anyways, I'll show it to you in this. <laughs> all right, so we're in a match, and. As you can see, we're in a uh, 4v4, which is a chaos. And that means my team is only going to have one person loss, a one person loss, from their team. So somebody's going to be scoring. There's four people on the enemy team that can score, and three people on my team that can score. Now, you might make a few people mad about this, but uh, it, I don't really know why you would care too much about unranked but this is the second method I have a macro set it's a jump macro it just pretty much has has me jump every like second or so every time I can because it's spamming jump with uh, no uh, no delay and I have it on toggle continuous playback. If anyone who has like anyone who has Razor Synapse and uses macros will know how to do that. I I am not able to record Razor Synapse uh, because I'm using Nvidia Shadowplay for this tutorial. That's my recording software that I use. So. Uh, I'm not able to record that, but what I can do is tell you what I set my stuff to. So pretty much I recorded me spamming jump with no delay, and that's what this macro is. And I set it to mouse click down, and pretty much I jumped the entire match. Oh. And having uh, this many people pretty much full pressure plan, as you can see, we've already got scored on twice. So that's going to make sure that we don't go into uh, 50 minutes of overtime or whatever. Yeah. So now that we've got that out of the way, I want to show you what to do after you get the items. So I'm just going to go to a uh, web browser right here and search up Rocket League Garage and you're gonna click on here pretty much I'm gonna full screen this that's not what I want to do full screen All right. trading that's what you're gonna want to click on I don't know if it Oh, it's the site's down right now, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I watched a YouTube video where Jeff Ram Gordon Ramsay yelled at people. Um, uh, that. so that's why I messed it up at that. I was trying to get, get him to get on for this tutorial to help me out with it, but he wouldn't. So, it's fine. Alright, he didn't respond to me pretty much. So, I lost track of what I was saying. So, uh, you can pretty much trade up your items. Like, let's say you get uh, 5 CC4s. You can trade that up to 1 key. And that's a free key for you. Or if you, say, have, I think the, the PCCs, I think it's 3 PCCs. Or one key now. I believe that's the ratio for the people who are giving the key away make profit, obviously, because they're worth worth 0.5 keys, I believe. And the way you can check the prices is uh, Rocket League price guide. I'll uh, leave the links to both of these in the description, so you don't have to worry about trying to find them on Google or whatever search engine you use. And pretty much you can find uh, crates, uh, yeah, PCCs. It shows you the ratio of 
what the fair trade is. This is very good for trading in general if you just want to trade up the things. Uh, and then you could use those keys for items like Dominus GT. And I think I'm going to use mine for uh, a black market decal. Uh, I think I might get heat wave. I, I don't know. Uh, but. Uh, I'm trying to find, oh, Panda Wheels, right here. This is, honestly, like, really good. I think it's one of the best, uh, price guides that there is. It's updated daily. Uh, I don't know if it says right here. Uh, I don't know. It, but it is updated daily. So... And also, they're doing a giveaway if you guys want to enter. Yeah. The link will be in the description for the site. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to get free items and keys in Rocket League. And I'll see you next time.